IFCC kids, welcome back. This is my daughter Paisley and she wanted to join me in greeting you today. So last week we continued to learn about a fruits of the spirit. So I hope you guys were able to apply God's love in tough situations. This week I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and pause and grab those Bibles. So I hope you guys grab those Bibles. This week, the fruit of the spirit that we're working on is goodness. So I want you guys to go ahead and pause the screens. And I want you guys to read about a time where another man shows goodness to a stranger. The verse that you're going to be reading is Luke 10, 30 through 37. Go ahead and pause. <laughs> Okay, so in the passage you just read, you read about goodness. And what happened was a man was left on the side of the road. He had been badly beaten. And one guy walked up, but basically just ignored that this man was bleeding and injured on the side of the road. He just walked right past him. Another man came up, and this is the Good Samaritan. And without hesitation, he stopped and he attended to this man's wounds. He cleaned him. He helped him. He even put him back on his horse and took him to an inn. An inn nowadays is like a hotel. Took him back and kind of got him to where he was better and feeling healthy. So this brings me to today's Bible point. Today's Bible point is that we are learning about goodness. And what I want you guys to do, like the Good Samaritan, is to show even a stranger goodness. A lot of times when somebody asks you a question like how was school and you reply good or they'll ask you how was dinner and you'll say good even though it was just average or it was just okay. Goodness is more than that. It describes your character and it's doing the right thing when nobody else is watching. So I want you guys to think about this. Who is somebody good? And why did you choose that person? Go ahead and pause the screen. So the person that I chose today is Jerry Clark. And a lot of you guys know him. Everybody should know him. He's our senior minister. So I didn't choose him just to kind of earn some brownie points. But I chose him because he really represents goodness. And I know that even when people aren't watching, he is doing the right thing. He just treats everybody fairly. It doesn't matter who you are. He welcomes you. And I just think that when I think of somebody who has a good heart, Jerry Clark is who I think of. So now it's time for our activity over goodness. I'm going to go through the supplies that you need, then I'll have you guys pause and you guys can run and grab those. You will need a piece of paper and a writing utensil. Go ahead and pause. So today's activity is going to be over goodness and we are going to make a goodness tic-tac-toe board. Okay, so you should have gotten your supplies together and now I'm going to walk you through a grid that we're going to be drawing. The first thing you're going to do is I'm going to have you write at the top, goodness, tic-tac-toe. So here's what it should look like. Now we're going to draw our grid. So what you're going to do, you're going to start from the top and you're going to draw two lines all the way down to the bottom. Then you're going to go over on the side and you're going to draw two lines side to side. I'm going to do that really quickly and I'm going to show you guys what it should look like. They don't have to be straight or perfect. This is just a game for you. But here's what it will look like. So after you drew your grid, the next thing we're going to do is fill in the spaces along our grid. You do not have to have them in the order that I'm going in. They can be anywhere throughout the grid. So I'm going to go ahead and read off to you what I want you guys to write. The first one is going to be hold the door for someone. 
The second, tell somebody that they're awesome. Third, help someone in need. Number four, donate a few of your unused toys. Number five, write a letter to a loved one. Six, take out the trash at home. Parents will like that one. Seven, draw a picture for someone. Eight, make someone smile. And nine, give someone you love a big hug. Go ahead and pause and write all of those down. Okay, so this is what your goodness tic-tac-toe grid should look like. And I know mine probably looks different. You might not have gone in this order, and that's okay. Because what you're going to do is each time that you do something good, you're going to write an X over it. And the goal of this game is to get three X's in a row. You can do it vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. But whatever you do, you just want to get three X's. And so then when you do that, what I want you guys to do is send me a picture. Have your parents or whoever you live with take a picture and email it to me. My email is jennifer at fccevv.com. I would love to see you guys doing random acts of goodness. And once I receive your picture, I'm going to send you guys a surprise in the mail because I'll be so proud that you guys played my tic-tac-toe game. So this takes me to today's Bible point. Today's Bible point is that goodness is a fruit of the Spirit. So our takeaway is that we are to show goodness to even strangers. So I'm going to leave you guys with this summary verse. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Galatians 5, 23. I hope you guys have a great week and you show goodness to a stranger. Bye, FCC kids.